So here you have a lead list here, and you can see there's a checkbox that I can select. Uh, if I'm interested in particular leads, for instance, I'm interested in this person, I'm like, okay, this is also someone I want to connect with. This one, the number increased here, and I can save it to a list. You can also select all of them, but it's only going to select 25 per page. What I recommend to do is typically to do all pages, even if you have more than uh, 2,000 results, for example, the maximum that LinkedIn is going to display is anyway 2,500 results, even though it tells you there are 60 million. This is just how LinkedIn Sales Navigator is wired. But you'll really benefit from clicking one by onto the pages and selecting all of them to add them to the same list. Let me save them to a list. I'll show you how it works. So create a new list. I'll call it example CTO list. And I can also add a description. So if I create and save, now we have 25 people added to the list. In order to find this list, I can go to leads here and you'll see it's going to be on the top. So as I click on it, it's going to give me information about all the leads I've selected, whether they have changed jobs in the last 90 days, uh, whether they've posted on LinkedIn in the past 30 days, and if we have shared experiences. This is a really helpful way to find reasons to connect with individuals to make sure that you can engage with them on the similar level.